Okay, so I have the tube in the tester. And of course the actual voltage is being applied to the tube, the B plus and that is very different than the tester from the radio. The, the radio is going to put a much higher voltage on it. And uh, what are we looking for? Um, any anomalous behavior. No shorts showing up. Uh, what is the expected? This is the triode section I'm doing first, and it should come out uh, above 630. 630, so we're on 3006. So 630 is right here. So it's, it's right on. So I'm going to leave my finger down here and look at that meter really closely. What are the chances I'm going to see something jumping around there? I'm watching it very, very closely. Kind of a, a dumb way of doing it, but I don't know what else to do with a tester like this. I don't see anything happening at all. This is a two-part tube. Let's check the second part. I mean, come on, what are the chances that two tubes are going to have the same failure? 8637. 8637. Now, by the way, some tube testers, you don't dare move these controls but with the tube in the socket. So this one, you can do that. 2584. 25. Deep breath. This should read 2520. 2520 is going to be up, up around here. Again, I'm watching that pointer. Any evidence of movement? You know what? It is jumping around a bit. It is jumping around a little bit. Uh, how can I get a camera up there a little closer and make it more visible? I'm just going to have to hold it with my hand, I think it's really lonely. Hang on, you got to detangle wires here. There we go. Okay, now is this going to work? Am I going to be able to hold this thing? Here we go. Many white things in view of the camera here. There, that's a little bit better. Are you ready? I'm sinking a little bit. see any jumping other than my hand wiggling around here.
You can literally see my heartbeat in the way the camera's shaking. I don't see anything. Oh my gosh. Okay, other two. The other two. Now this uh, tube tester has a special feature that uh, you can do a noise test with it. And I've never ever done it. I should give it a try. Here's the outputs for the noise test. And what you do is you apparently connect these to the antenna of a regular AM radio. Something of that sort. I'll give that a try in a, in a, a minute just for interest sake. Shorts. Go up here again. Uh, the little Lord and the other two. I'm watching it for shakiness. back to the other settings 1902 what nine oh two with a zero 2584 25 oops 1902 there are 1040 10 is that easy to make a mistake 10 and 40. should be up around here, right where it is. Okay. The noise test. I'm going to have to read up on how to do the noise test before I try it. Okay, so here's what I got going here. Whoops. AM radio, whip antenna. This is the noise output here with the screwdriver shoved in the jack there. I'm just going to take a wire and clip it from here to here. And we should be able to listen to noise being created by the tube. This, this should be, this should be, this should be probably a useless test in the end. But let's check it out and see what happens here. So first I turn up the radio. Lots of noises to begin with. This is a quiet spot on the band here. Okay, let's try that spot. Apparently, as you switch through the different short settings, you're implementing this noise thing. Never done this before, so... again.
Okay, let's try the other half of the tube here. Eight six three seven. Eight six three seven. Eight six three seven zero twenty five. Nothing really for sure, but certainly there's no apparent noise coming from these tubes. I have almost no experience. Well, I have no experience with using the noise uh, function of this uh, um, tube tester. Very unusual function, by the way, but not helping here. Boy, oh boy. I think I have to get a couple of replacement tubes. 
output tubes, as crazy as that sounds, to eliminate the possibility that it's just the tubes themselves making this noise. And uh, these are these are rare tubes, apparently. I really haven't gone shopping for them, but my understanding is that they're not that common. It's an output tube with a triode uh, preamp built into them. That's what they actually are. Yeah, that pretty much uh, I'm stuck for now. Stuck? I'm stuck. Still stuck. So anyway, thanks for watching these <laughs> all these going nowhere uh, videos. But uh, I certainly intend to get to the bottom of this. It has to be caused by something. Anyway, th thanks for watching. <laughs>